All right, if you're getting your device ran into a problem and needs to restart, you can restart and it says inaccessible boot device. Here's how you fix it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the BIOS. <clears throat> Just restart your computer and then press delete or F2. Okay, <clears throat> this is for the Asus, here you go. ROG Strix Z790A gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. All right, once we go to that, we're gonna go to advanced mode. You can see at the bottom here, it says press F7, or you can just click that. So we'll go to advanced. Next, we're gonna go to the advanced tab here, and we're gonna go to system agent, SA configuration. In there, we're gonna go to VMD setup menu, and in there, we're just gonna disable the VMD controller. Okay, so once we disable that, say okay, we'll go to exit, and then we'll save changes and reset. Okay, you can see all, the only thing we changed here is enable VMD controller. Uh, sometimes this will happen if you do a BIOS update. Sometimes it will happen if you're migrating your SSD or hard drive over from another system or computer that didn't have the Intel VMD driver installed on the hard drive. Um, yeah, so this should fix it. You can see, okay, we'll wait for it to boot up. All right, it's going. And now it's actually logging in. So we should be good to go. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.